John chapter 14, verse 6. Yeshua answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come unto the Father but by me. In this video, we are going to check out Steve Harvey's beliefs and see what he really believes in. But before we do, let's get into some scripture. Matthew chapter 7 verses 13 through 14. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only a few find it. In today's society that we live in, a lot of people like to idolize celebrities and put them on a pedestal. But before people start idolizing celebrities, they really need to understand what these celebrities believe in. Because not every celebrity or not every person believes in the God of the Bible, who is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But a lot of these celebrities have sold their soul for fame and fortune. And most of their allegiance is not to the God of the Bible, but their allegiance is to the God of the world who has blinded them to believe a lie. Today, I want to tell you about a guy. You may know him for his comedy. You may know him for his mustache. But today, I want you to know him for his religion. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey, stand-up comedian, entertainer, television host, family man. But most importantly, I happen to be a man of faith. Steve is a very successful guy. He has made more money than he ever thought. He has become more famous than he ever thought. But at the same time, he managed to keep his relationship with God closer than ever. Why did you not lose faith as you became more successful? If I could make myself successful. I would have done it a long time ago. <laughs> I would have skipped so many of the lessons I had to learn. But it's not that. It's a process. Success and happiness is a process, man. And in this process, I was very aware of the amount of faith that was needed. And as a matter of fact, it really took more faith than I even thought I had. See, oftentimes, people who are religious think their religion is right and everybody else is wrong. There is only one way to God. But Steve's faith is unique because it's really not about that. There's no one, one way to heaven, no one way to paradise. It's like television. Now it's over 800 channels of cable and they're all pretty entertaining. So I'm pretty sure, man, that to get to heaven, there's got to be more than one route. Because somebody watching another channel or taking another channel than you, they still getting entertained and they probably still getting to heaven. This isn't just talk. Steve lives by these words. He has three sons. Two of them, he gave them Christian names like Broderick, and one of them he gave a Muslim name, Ali, as a sign of respect and appreciation for the Muslim religion and the Muslim culture. I named him Ali because I knew, I knew then. That he might be different. I knew. And you have no problems with it. No. Because when you come here, you understand Islam is a religion of peace. Why you got a problem with peace? It's just a name, but it's a big step to showing respect to people of other cultures. What Steve did reminds me a lot of this mosque. This mosque in Abu Dhabi belongs to people in the Islamic faith, but as a sign of tolerance to the churches next to them, they renamed the mosque to Mary, Mother of Jesus Mosque. Can you imagine a mosque with the name Jesus on it? Yeah. The world could use a little bit more of that. It's just a name, but it's a big step to showing respect. You know, when I named my youngest son and I gave him the name Ali, I never really understood exactly what I was doing. I had a feeling about it. 
but now when I look at this name right here, and it says, Mary, the mother of Jesus, Mosque, uh, it kind of gives me a little bit more of the understanding. Maybe it was something I didn't quite know at the time, but now it's starting to make a whole lot more sense. And it's not just about Christians and Muslims. It's about Christians, Muslims, Jews, and everybody else. At a time when religious intolerance is on the rise, we need many, many more of these mosques, many, many more of people like Steve. After hanging out with Steve for a week and visiting mosques, churches, and museums in the Emirates, I am convinced religious harmony, religious respect, religious tolerance is the most important thing and we need to promote that every single day in the video steve said he is a man of faith notice he did not say that he is a man of god he said he is a man of faith james chapter 2 verse 19 says you say you have faith for you believe that there is one god good for you even the demons believe this, and they tremble in terror. But who is Steve's God? Who does he serve? Is Allah the same God as the God of the Bible? Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Steve said in the video that there is more than one way to get to heaven, and he even compared salvation to watching different TV channels. It's clear who Steve's God is. As you can see from the video, he was throwing money up in the air. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 says, No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Mark 8.36 for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? This has been Pro Truth and Provoking Thought. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.